Hey, Tom here, Flip Anything USA. So on my channel, I share how I made my fortune in real estate, starting at 19 years old, millionaire by 28. Uh, today I'm looking at Chris Crone. You know, I found Chris Crone by his video when he was critical of Grant Cardone doing his, you know, whatever, fake bankruptcy or real bankruptcy speech, whatever the hell it is. Anyways, I don't usually make any friends when I do these reviews of other people's stuff and probably won't today either. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you will hit subscribe. I don't mind doing these videos, but I like to know they're appreciated. Uh, and if they're not, you let me know that too. So I got a book, Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate. It's a bestseller on uh, Amazon and Kindle. Enjoy the video, thanks. Chris Crone here with Limitless TV. How to invest $1,000 should I wait until I have more money? Is it worth it to begin investing if all I have is $1,000? All of those answers come in your way right now. Okay, so he says he's gonna answer those questions. Now let's go ahead and <laughs> see if he does. $1,000, it could be $50, it could be $10,000, it could be a million dollars. It's really not about the amount of money that you're starting with, it's about the strategy that, they're, that you're using. And it's important for you to understand that it doesn't matter how much you have. Where should I invest my money to maximize my return? That's what this whole video is about. So whether you're starting with $1,000 or a million, the strategy for investing is the same with a smaller amount of money as it is with a larger amount of money. You know, I had a chance to finally get through this book that Warren Buffett had written called Snowball. And Warren Buffett made all of his money and be, in fact became the world's richest man because he made very careful investments and he started small and then they snowballed. Imagine a snowball starting at the top of- I actually identify a lot with Warren Buffett in as much as Warren Buffett, he waits and he buys property based on value. And he also, he also used other people's money too, by the way. Warren Buffett, he only swings at winners. In other words, he, he used an analogy in an old video I watched. Things will be pitched to him over and over and over and over and over, maybe a thousand times over a period of two years, and he doesn't swing at anything until he sees something that's worth more than what he can buy it for. And that's, that's what I teach you in my book, is you don't buy anything unless it's worth more. A, a snow-filled mountain, and what would happen as you start rolling it if it didn't stop? Well, it would get bigger, and 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 Warren Buffett built his entire empire that led to him giving 85% of it away to, to charity and doing tremendous good in the world. Near All right, so look, this is just fluff. Okay, this to me, I, I can't stand stuff like this, to be quite honest. He's talking about Warren Buffett being very rich and being philanthropic. He's got nothing to do with making money or turning a thousand bucks into something. Anyhow, let's keep going. The end of his life with this very simple philosophy that you and I call buy low, sell high. What he did is he looked for companies or real estate that had high intrinsic value but had a low valuation. The high intrinsic value meant that it was eventually, eventually what he could buy it for was going to meet its true value. I don't see Warren Buffett as that much of a speculator. He buys based on what they're worth. In other words, he looks at a property, a stock or whatever, he sees value and he's buying it below the value. What he just described as speculation. It reminds me a little bit of Grant Cardone, and maybe this is why he was such a, an admirer of Grant Cardone, because I don't know where this is going yet. I'm watching this with you right now, first time. I just smell something, you know, maybe I'm wrong, let's see. And so no matter the amount of money that you're starting with, you have the ability to do that. And so I'm gonna give you some very specific ideas, but more importantly, principles of how you take a small amount of money, like $1,000, and turn it into so much more. In fact, at the end of the video, if you hang out, I'm gonna actually share with you how I would use $1,000 if I were you, $1,000 that I used that made me my first million dollars. And I'm gonna tell you how I would invest 1,000 bucks by the time this Thing is done, but let's keep going. And that is a crazy return on investment. Okay, now I can't wait to hear this, okay? But I already feel like I'm gonna be disappointed. Because <laughs> I'll show you how to leverage that thousand dollars into massive opportunity with only a small amount. Perhaps nobody in your life has ever taught you how to invest. And that's okay, for most of us, we need to figure out how to do that on our own. And remember, it's not about the money, 
It's about the knowledge. How do I get the knowledge I need to do it right? I'll teach you how to properly invest. And I'm gonna start by teaching you this one main important principle. $1,000 is more than enough to start with, why? Because of the snowballing. Because of the snowballing. I think we know where this is going already. I think we're gonna run into a $1,000 course is what it feels like, right? <laughs> the snowball means start with what you have and grow it. And you gotta make sure that you're growing it with something aggressively. When you have $1,000, you gotta be looking at doubling, tripling, or quadrupling the investment. With real estate, I can show you how to take $1,000 and in a short space of time, turn that into twenty or $30,000. Okay, look, I show you guys on my, uh, I show you in here how I make money. Tens of thousands of dollars at a time. Very specifically, deals I've bought, deposits, I've showed you with assignments. This is interesting. Let's see where this goes. Hopefully, we're gonna see some specifics. Well, twenty or $30,000 is a 20% down payment on a property that can turn into 50 or 100,000 that can turn into three or four more properties. And over a 10 year period of time, $1,000 is enough to get you where you wanna go. For example, number one strategy I started with in real estate was lease options. And in a link below, if you click it, I'll actually share with you exactly how I leveraged the lease option model to buy several homes with no money, with no credit, and I controlled all of these assets, and I sold them, and I got to make a pile of money. Okay, now that sounds like using other people's money. In fact, I wanna show you just a little bit of proof right now. I just had my accountant whip these up for me. Um, I've got a house that just got sold here by my LLC that I own with my partner who put in his money. Remember Grant Cardone? He took that $800,000 of the two million and then he didn't explain the split. And I got a feeling that's where we're headed here. Let's take a look. And you can see there, it made $49,686. So he just said he got a disbursement check with him and his partner for $49,000. He didn't get into details, just like. We distributed $2 million to our investors last month. 800,000 of that went to me last month. Okay. This was a house that we bought using someone else's money, controlled the asset, cash flowed it, and these are just the proceeds that we made when we sold it, not even the tax benefits. This one right here in the top corner right here, $55,000 plus. This one right here, $90,000. This is an actual property that, that I got paid for and I didn't put a dollar into this property. Lack of detail. Listen, when people don't share much detail, there's usually a reason for it. And it's usually not one that's good. Here's another one. My partner and I made $77,000. Now, we had to pay back his down payment and then we got to split the benefits, but that was the gross amount that came into the property. We're talking about tens of thousands of dollars on properties that are owned for years that are then sold with this short-term buy and hold strategy. This is one right here for $95,789.26. This was paid out to Ron12061, LLC. This is again, one of my LLCs. Is it dispersed or is it stuck in some partnership that Chris has all the control, let's find out. These are real amounts of money. And, um, and if you want to know my specific strategy, then you can click below. But frankly, the more important thing is that, is that you get the principle. And the principle is you don't need a lot of money to start with, and it's all about snowballing. The important thing is that you get the principle. And the principle is you don't need a lot of money to start with, and it's all about snowballing. How can I take $1,000 and turn it into 2000 Get the principle. And the principle is you don't need a lot of money to start with, and it's all about snowballing. How can I take $1,000 and turn it into 2000 How about 2000 and turn it into 10000 How can I take 10000 and turn it into a million? Okay, great. He keeps throwing out the same question. How, 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 okay? This is supposed to be a how-to. And how do I keep that going? It's the mindset that makes it happen and the pace at which you turn it over. Real estate will often hold for 10 years, five years, two years. And in that space of time, all we're doing is rotating from one to the next. And then instead of just paying it all to me, we're rolling it to the next, rolling it to the next and snowballing it bigger and bigger and bigger. I have to tell you, when I think about a snowball, I think about it melting. It doesn't inspire a lot of faith that, that this is a good deal or something that you want to get into. It just doesn't. Uh, but we'll go look at the link. Anyways, let's go. Okay, we're looking at the links below here under Chris's video. Uh, LimitlessMentor.com. He's got some books. He doesn't have anything specific to making $1,000. Uh, nothing seems to be specific to the video.
nor in the description was there anything. And you can do that with as little as a thousand dollars. Now, if you're still not clear on exactly what that might look like, click the link below and I'll show you exactly how I do it. Listen, if I could time machine myself all the way back to the beginning of my journey, I know exactly what I would do with my first thousand dollars. If you want to know what that is, click the link below. Chris, if you're watching, this may be why the, the comments below were not very favorable. Okay, so here's the comments below Chris's video. All I learned is this, wrote Douglas. One, have a thousand dollars. Two, invest, somehow, no specifics. Three, triple your money, somehow, no specifics. Four, invest in real estate, which is straightforward. How about some actual advice that isn't all you got to do is double your money? How? Question mark. So look at that really negative comment got 599 thumbs up. So I, I would have to agree this uh, video is a big nothing burger. And what I'll do is I'll help show you how I amassed all the information that launched my personal empire. All right, look, I shot that out at my lake house. Uh, that's why the change of scenery. Look, I didn't know it was going to be that bad. That I'm like the other 599 people that agreed with that guy that said, you know, I learned nothing. That, that was a terrible video. What I'd like to say is if you got $1,000, look, that's not nothing. $1,000 is money. $1,000 is something you can parlay into more. And the easiest way to do that, I told you I'd tell you, is to buy stuff that's used. And the reason is anything that's used is paid for. Anything that's paid for can be sold for much less than it's worth. That's like property. Real estate's the same way. Real estate that's paid for. Guess what? It can be sold for less than it's worth. And that's what you learn in my book. Wake up and smell the real estate. I woke up and learned about it at 19. You can do it now. Make a world of difference in your life. I have videos I, I show where I bought it. You know, I rolled top desk. I paid 200 bucks and I sold it for 800 bucks. A scenography machine, a machine that most of us don't even know what it is. I didn't know either, but I bought it for 300. I sold it for $3,000. These are the kinds of things you can do. You can start with stuff that is non-real estate and with that thousand dollars, just it's your seed capital. Don't lose it. Don't be swindled out of it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please share. Please subscribe. Subscribe to my video. You'll be glad you did. There's a lot of good stuff coming and I've already made probably two or three hundred videos already that you can go back and watch now. Thanks.